You know, I really love when she says this meeting is being recorded. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Impact Life 24-7. Can you believe it's Monday night? Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited. Thank you for tuning in to Impact Life 24-7 with your host, C.L. King. We're coming to you live from the High Definition Studios here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. You know, I say we're coming to you live every single night as if I'd be coming to you any other way. I want you guys to know that we're starting out the week with such a magnificent, magnificent couple. And I really, really have never had such a fast turnaround with a couple on the show. What I mean by that is people come on our show, they do a pre-interview, and then I get them back like months later and I have to reacquaint myself with them. But man, I've got to talk to them on Saturday and I said, man, thank God we had a slot. We got, you get to meet them tonight. I want you to know that parenting is a challenge, ladies and gentlemen. It is a challenge. And the people that I'm bringing before you, they have parented five beautiful children. They are, uh, the husband is a military vet, my friend, Steven. And they also have a unique burden and mission in their life to take their family dynamic and share it with others. See, because out of the five children that they have, two of their children were born with special needs. And mom, Katie, had to really reinvent herself because raising a family of five people and five human beings, great human beings, but the challenges associated with just parenting are monumental. The challenges of parenting and having a child with special needs is why we're here tonight. They have a burden to help people throughout the country understand that, hey, listen, you don't have to burn out. You don't have to give out. We want to bring to you something that can help the whole entire family. So what I want you guys to do is put your hands together. Everyone, put your hands together right now and welcome into the virtual studios, Steve and Katie King. Welcome, guys. (laughs) Thank you so much for having us. Yes, sir. Thanks for having us. Man, it is so, it's such a delight for you guys to be in our virtual studios, Impacting Life 24-7. I know that I was a hot mess in the pre-show, but we ready to go now. It's live and in color. It don't don't get no more live than this, y'all. So thank you, Steve and Katie, for taking time out of your busy schedule. What I'd like to do real quick before we get started, because you know it's a lot of stuff to cover, tell people how they can contact you and get up with you right away, because we share that all throughout the show. Absolutely. So we have a brand new up and working site, familysuccesssecrets.com. We are super excited. We're also on Facebook and Instagram by the same name, Family Success Secrets. And our podcast is also Family Success Secrets. So you can find us in all those locations and ways. We can find you at Family Success Secrets. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, uh, Greg. So glad to see you guys, our folks that are handling stuff from the 500-yard line, familysuccesssecrets.com. Is that the website? Yes, sir. All right. So I want everyone right now in our live audience, I want you to go to their website and connect with them right away. The whole reason why we have people on the show is for our broad audience around the world to connect with them. And these two people are connect-worthy. I connected with them because I think they're just so cool. So thank you, Greg, for getting that in there, familysuccesssecrets.com. And uh, you can go find them. Of course, you can find them on Facebook, et cetera. So real quick, Steve, because I I got your name right, because your name is Stephen Keen. With it, right. <laughs> it's not Stephen King. We were talking about that when we were talking the other day. Stephen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself to our audience. All right. So I grew up not far from you. I grew up in in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, which is why I sound like a homebody for everybody <laughs> in North Carolina who's listening. Uh, so I grew up there. Um, my dad was a school teacher. My mother was a nurse. Kind of typical American family in that regards. And. Uh, I decided I would join the Navy straight out of high school. And so that's what I did. And so I shipped off to boot camp just a month after I graduated high school. And, um, and that's, that's where you and I pick up on that conversation of how, how my name is pronounced because on weekends, when I would call home, I would have to call collect from a phone booth outside of the barracks that I lived in and, and the operator would get away and like, collect call from Stephen King. And I'm like, yeah, a collect yeah. call from Stephen King. Wow. That's right. <laughs> Multimillionaire using a pay phone and not even paying for it. So, <laughs> so anyway, so, so that's what I did. Uh, 
and then uh, I, was, I was pretty fortunate. I picked up a, a scholarship to go to North Carolina State uh, for the Navy picked it up for ROTC. And when I finished there, I went off to the Navy's dive school and onward. And that's where I ran into Katie a few years later. Her father was stationed up in Newport, Rhode Island, where I was stationed. And that's where she and I met. And uh, we began to date long distance. And we dated long distance for two and a half years until Ooh. I was coming off of a ship tour and getting ready to go to uh, the Navy's EOD school. And she and I got married the week before and began our lives together 100% time from that. Yeah, man, I, man, you just said something that might be good. We have to talk about this at another time. But uh, they they long distance dated for two and a half years, so it can be done, ladies and gentlemen. All those folks that think they can't date long distance, look at this. This is living proof. So, Katie. Yes. How are you tonight? I am really well, and I was really looking forward to this all day. Oh, so man, I've been looking good. forward to it all day, too. I just... It's that for my studio being up, turned upside down, I would have been a whole lot better. I would have dressed a whole lot better for the show. So tell me a little, tell us a little bit about yourself, Katie. Sure. So I was born into a Navy family and I'm the oldest of four kids. And so my life was spent moving around um, all sorts of different locations, meeting people from all cultures and walks of life. And I really grew an appreciation and a love for people from everywhere. And um, right when I decided I was never moving again i met steve <laughs> what are you doing steve <laughs> and he is worth it so uh yeah so we did we dated long distance two and a half years and i will encourage people who are considering that it's a wonderful way to really get to know someone you have an opportunity to talk about everything you can solve all sorts of things that you may not have otherwise considered discussing before you get married. So you don't have an argument about it later. <laughs> Ooh, boy, that's so good. I like that. We'll get some little family counseling going on here tonight. Awesome. Yeah. So we, we dated and um, yeah, so here we are 20 some years later, we've been married 20 years and it's been good. Well, I just want you guys to know that one of the things that attracted me to you guys is the the collaboration that that I try to do and I'm trying to propel to people, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Impacting Life 24-7 with your host, C.L. King. One of the things that I'm trying to get people to realize is that relationships matter, right? And I think Steve Bicycle, my friend up there in Michigan, is who referenced, hey, you want to have these folks on your show. Of course, I had Steve on my show. I was on his. And I'm like, anybody who, who is cool with Steve is cool with me. And so th this, is a, this is a great example, ladies and gentlemen, of the continuation of relationship. And so now I got two new friends. And I can, when I go to Maryland to D.C., I might even have somewhere to stay. I could just go crash. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you guys got married. And you began to have children. Tell us how many kids you have. Yes, we now five. Have, yes, we now have five children. And what are their ages? Oh, you know that better than you. She can write them off. <laughs> uh, so our youngest is going to be seven here in a couple of days. Yes. We have an eight-year-old, a 12-year-old, a 15-year-old daughter, and a 17-year-old son. So four boys, one girl. Uh, about 10 years of age spread between them all. Mm -hmm. that, that's beautiful. I tell folks that are having a big family because for years I drove around a big red 15 passenger van with all of those kids. And I said, they used to call it Clifford the dog. They made fun of us oh, yeah. riding around town in that van. I said, you know what? Yeah. This this could be you if you have a big family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wonderful. One, of the, one of the elements about family is, is that we, we all start out you know, thinking that this is the direction our family's going to go, we envision. And then, and then, of course, things happen. Life happens. God is sovereign and, and he works in his own way. So when, 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 you, when, you, when we're talking about helping people understand how to navigate with, with special needs in a, as a part of their family, you know, how many of your children that are dealing with, that you help with special needs, Katie? two. So of our five, actually, there's been more special needs than the two who have now got challenges, but we've managed to work through that. Okay. Um, our our mm -hmm. history, we stopped with us getting married, but when we had our first child, he actually was born overseas and he had a stroke during birth. So mm -hmm. our first moments into parenting were not an average experience. And um, he has miraculously really been spared. They didn't know if he'd walk or talk or any of that. Um, 
and and he has always been ahead uh, developmentally. But you know, as time went on and we had more children, we we did run into a lot of challenges, and it really wasn't anything like what we had expected. We both came from families with very typical siblings and you know knew really very few people with challenges we were both drawn to them interestingly people with challenges as children and uh, his mother will tell stories of how he would support the children at school who had had some issues and more challenges and I myself was always checking out on the playground all the kids who had the special needs and enjoyed mingling with them um, so I guess God built some of that into us um, yeah, early great. on <laughs> yeah and and you know that's right because God won't take you through it if he doesn't equip you to do it. And so with, with your two, you, ha, you have, you have a one daughter and then you have another son. Your youngest, is it your youngest son that, that we talked about the other day? Fourth. Oh, yeah. your fourth son. Okay. So with your daughter who was first, t- tell us about the situation with her. Sure. So she was born with a very, very rare non-inherited genetic disorder that to this day they have never found someone exactly like anybody even similar to her is not functional in life and um you know we were given all kinds of prognoses and all of them bad none of them good and um you know over time we had a lot of doctors and nurses who thought they were doing the right thing say things to us that really weren't weren't helpful and um, it has been a continuation of that through all the challenges with our other children as well. And we just decided that God was bigger than that. We were on a mission to really support our children for who they were, not for what we were told they would be. Mm. And um, so that has always been our mentality. Right. And we believe that we were given them for a purpose and that we're all allowed as a family to walk through these challenges for a reason, even though at times it really can hurt. You know, I'm not going to make light of what it's like to be a special needs family. It's very challenging, but we know it's got a purpose. Wow. That's powerful. I mean, I just love your faith. And like I told you, we don't mind shameless plugs on this show and we surely don't mind people expressing their faith on our show. So don't, don't feel like you're going to be regulated by some sort of radio station. So, and then with your fourth child, uh, Stephen, you, you kind of went into detail about his condition. Could you explain it for us? Yes. So he was born, um, fairly typical pregnancy. Um, we had, we had no indications during pregnancy that he was going to have any challenges, but we discovered within a year or so that his development wasn't uh, on track Mm -hmm. and the world's greatest advocate right here to my left, uh, just went after doggedly. Let's, Mm -hmm. let's get testing. Let's get therapies. Let's I'm seeing it right. This is my fourth kid. This isn't my first time seeing that, you know, so Mm -hmm. she knew the developmental milestones and saw where they weren't being met. And so she pursued and pursued and pursued. Finally, we got genetic testing and that revealed that he had a different non-inherited genetic disorder. So a different one than what our daughter has. Uh, But in his case, uh, I think it's more severe. Mm -hmm. She could have been very severe, uh, but they didn't quite know because she was unique in that way. His is more well known. And uh, on the spectrum, he's probably somewhere there in the middle, but it's it's a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough diagnosis because the developmental delays are there. That was our first cue. Um, and then the epilepsy set mm-hmm. in. And then, then autism. autism, we started to see. So at that point, it was like, and he also has autism. <laughs> so on right. top of those things. And so uh, just a number of things that sort of compound or interrelate uh, one another, uh, making it quite a difficult time for our buddy. Well, guys, I'm, I'm, you know what? I just love the spirit, though, that you guys are describing this with, because I can feel the love for your kids, man, and and the, you know, I, it it just really touches my heart to hear, and I want to give some people some encouragement that Katie and Steve are going to really give us some some insights tonight about how they've navigated life 
and uh, and thrived, and they want to help other people do that. But before we do, I want to give you their website, FamilySuccessSecrets.com. That's Katie and Stephen King with an N. And when we come back from our break, we're going to hear more about their military life because Stephen wasn't always there. Stephen had to deploy. The country called him. I like to hear how Katie has has negotiated that uh because she's still doing it with a smile so i i could really appreciate that and you guys are too we're very very thankful for our sponsors who help us here's a word from them real quick amazing sponsors on impacting life 24 7 because they help us reach the world every single day michelle perry is the host of the successful diligence podcast and best-selling author of the pebble in my shoe you can connect with michelle and get a copy of her book at SuccessfulDiligence.com. We're thankful that she is a gold sponsor. Paula Cousson is a gold sponsor, and she has dedicated her life to volunteering in community youth programs such as the Young Marines. Paula believes that the greatest asset each young person has is at least one caring adult in their life. Gregory Smith, he is a platinum sponsor. He is the author of 100 Simple Ways, How to Manage a Property and Evidence Room, Get your copy of his book today by reaching out to Gregory Smith on Facebook or email him at smithg1963 at yahoo.com. Adrienne Barker, she is a platinum sponsor and she is the host of the Adrienne Barker Speaks podcast. She is a life coach and CEO of Professional Global Etiquette. Please connect with Adrienne at professionalglobaletiquette.com. Mr. Mike Black is a platinum sponsor from New Bern, North Carolina. Mike helps men throughout Eastern Carolina find and lead a faith-filled life. He is also the co-host of Impacting Life 24-7. He is a compassionate leader in his church and a devoted father and husband. Dr. Nate Dunlap Jr. is a platinum sponsor, and he is the executive director of the PRF Institute. He is the author of What's Next? Preparing for Eternity. And don't leave me like this, inspiration to leave a legacy. As a 501c3 nonprofit organization, the PRF Institute is blessed to be that premier stewardship-based teaching ministry that truly responds to the needs of families and communities around the country. Find Dr. Dunlap and his amazing team at prfinstitute.org. Poet Katrina McCain, she is the author of Because She Decided to Love. This is a collection of poetry and prose about how love has impact on every relationship. Paul Katrina McCain is a platinum sponsor, and this book that she has detailed for us is a raw and uncut poetry ensemble that addresses themes of how we express love through loss, hurt, pain, and grief. Connect with her at poorkatrinamccain.com. If you'd like to become a sponsor of Impacting Life 24-7, it's very simple. Just go to clkingspeaker.com. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Go to clkingspeaker.com. And we put every one of our sponsors' name into the live chat so that you can connect with them should you desire to. We are very, very thankful for our sponsors who help us continue to reach and impact one life one day at a time. I'm joined here tonight. I don't know where they went, but I'm sure hoping they're coming back. <laughs> there they are. I am joined with uh, in our virtual studios. I'm like, where did y'all go? Steve and Katie King. That we're so thankful that they are with us. You can find their website. It's very, very simple. You just go to FamilySuccessSecrets.com. We're hearing about their dynamic and, and compassionate story relative to raising a family of with five children and two of them with special needs. Now, Stephen, you were you were serving in the Navy, and thank you for your service. We love military people around here. As you guys know, the, I am stationed in Camp Lejeune, the home of the Marine Corps base's largest base in the world. And so, Stephen, how was it for you as as a father and a military service member having to travel and leave your kids and, and family? I, I imagine that was a difficult situation. Yes, sir, it was. Um, <clears throat> I was originally supposed to be deployed uh, the day after my son, my first son was born. And I was, we were in Europe, we were in Italy, and I was supposed to go to Africa. So there we were completely separated from any, any of her or my family. 
any local support. And then I was getting ready to hop down the next continent uh, and be even further away, leaving her. Um, that was not going to be too cool. So <laughs> thankfully, that all worked out. Um, it worked out because my son had problems. So in that sense, it wasn't all that great, but he got better. And so it was great. So we're back to being great. Yeah. But then when my daughter was born, I, I was stationed on uh, a carrier strike group staff. So I was embarked on USS enterprise and taken off going around the planet. And so you would spend a lot of time getting ready to deploy in which case you're out at sea and then right. you would spend six months just gone. And at that time, uh, that was going to be my last deployment. I didn't know it yet, but that was going to be my last deployment. Our son was uh, only about two, three years old. And then our daughter was born and she was, mm -hmm. Katie was discovering all of the problems. And I was getting emails and things saying like, uh, doctors can't figure it out. Um, all they know is that she's not thriving. Mm -hmm. she, she's not doing what she should be doing. You know, and I'm on the other side of the planet. Nothing I can do. I get to call home maybe once every other week and, and try and catch up and that sort of stuff. And so uh, for the little kid who was too young to remember me, that was difficult for my son, uh, you know, and we were best buddies because he was my little buddy. Right. And he saw dad get on the ship and the ship just went away, disappeared out of sight. He thought that his dad had been swallowed by a whale like Jonah. Oh my goodness. He was dead. <laughs> The Enterprise is a big ship, and Dad's pretty small by comparison. So. Right, yeah. Right. And I can, yeah. you know, Steve, I just imagine that, you know, you being, like you said, he was, he, he wasn't just traveling up the street where you could hop on a plane. I mean, he was, he was gone continents away, and I, I can just imagine that you're getting these messages that, hey, listen, there's, there's, there's things that the doctors don't understand and and Katie how did you how were you managing all of this um well it was a time of a lot of trying to figure out how to manage it you know there was a couple of times his mom would drive up and, and come with me to some of the harder appointments like the genetic appointments um and so I'm thankful for that and you know a, a couple of times my mom would drive down but we lived numbers of hours away from family so ultimately that was only just little periods of time and I had to learn how to become I'm a free spirit so systems don't really work too well for me but that began my journey with learning how to allow certain amounts of systems to support me so that I could function because I had to be able to feed all of us plus get to all the doctor appointments and take care of her very unknown and unexpected ups and downs and um, you know really learn to thrive in the stress of it all as well and um, so it was a lot of exploration and patience with everyone including myself right and and so the 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 other dynamic piece that we talked about with with having two special needs children is that you've you've got three other children and and how did how did you see that how did you guys see that affect them and and how did they respond I think when it was just our daughter who had the special needs and you jump in whenever you know it was a little bit easier her needs were a little bit milder and it was it was um a little bit less of something where other people in society would notice it or say something mm -hmm. and it was a little bit less of we can't easily go somewhere because her needs at least were things that we could manage out in public and really support her with at home in ways that could make good progress um, because of how determined we were but with our son i felt i feel like um that is when things really began to change and we began to really work and have to begin the learning process of how to balance it with our typical children mm -hmm. because we never ever wanted our typical children to feel like they were less of a priority and we never want them to feel like in any way that they're getting less than what they need mm. and um it really helped us i think to build a culture of of unity and teamwork and to strengthen what was already a very mutually respectful bond between us and our children and respect mutual respect between parents and children is a big theme for us it's yeah. very important and it's something that in our culture is not very necessarily encouraged um 
Well, Katie, and, and, if, I, I'm sorry for interrupting, no, but man, you ahead. just got my you got my brain. I don't know if you can see it on screen, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is just running 10 million miles a second. Uh, you said so many great things there in terms of your 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 typical children. You did not want them to feel like they were getting less attention, right? Mm-hmm. Would you say that that is something perhaps that families struggle with when they have? special needs children and, and non-special needs, if, if that can put the right term together? Absolutely. Parents often don't know how to deal with it. And they don't know if they should be allowing their typical children to help or not. They don't, they don't know, will this make my typical child feel like that they have a burden? Um, will it, you know, will it, they don't, they just so many questions. Right, so many, right. there's no guide for this. There isn't. You know? And Steve, yeah. I, I got a question for you because you being, you know, again, you're listening to Impact Life 24-7. I'm joined by Steve and Katie Keen, K-E-E-N. Let me see. Is there an E on the end? Yes. Okay. K-E-N, K-E-E-N-E. And you can find them at their website of FamilySuccessSecrets.com. I'm asking everyone to go right now. If you're listening to the podcast, put it on pause and go listen to and go check out their website and connect with them. But, uh, Stephen, one of the things that I was thinking about was how was it for you being away and then getting integrated back into the family that had these different dynamics in terms of your kids with special needs? Was that a challenge for you? Um. It, it wasn't too bad. It was probably more of the typical homecoming reunion where mom's been running the house for six months. And now I come in and I can either say, uh, well, you're doing a great job. Keep going. <laughs> or I'll take the reins of all of these things or we'll meet somewhere in the middle. And that's what we did. Of course, is we mm-hmm. found that happy medium. Nevertheless, even though I just got home from deployment, I still had to go to work on Monday, Mm -hmm. right? And so all of the doctor's appointments and stuff like that, they all happen during your typical business hours. And so for those things, it was still very much Katie's show. Uh, Nights and weekends, of course, is where I pitch in a lot. Mm -hmm. And so where a lot of of dads may come home Mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, well, I have to take care of the car. I have to take care of the the lawn and stuff like that and then i'm kind of off duty for the night or i'm going to watch a, a game or something like that that was never the way that we were so mm. for us we were very resolute in that we were going to take care of everything and when everything was done then we could you know spend the last 30 minutes of the night and which is really you know 18 years later what we still do <laughs> we, get to, we get to the end of the night it's 10 p.m we're like we're done one way or the other Go to sleep. We're not doing anything else uh so we had to do that right we had to yeah. in order to to manage everything and uh and then of course we did need to take our break well and you know before before we get into the second half of the show where you where we talk about you know what you guys' vision is because you know this this is one thing that that I see and what is a magnet for me that's why I have people on the show is that adversity or trials or difficulties or or challenges do come in life but it's how we negotiate them and how we thrive in them but you guys did more than just that because I know Katie you homeschooled right yeah. yeah, you did. You got your systems in place to the to the degree to the degree that you wanted systems and and you and you're you're making things work and you guys are an amazing team. But you guys have gone a step beyond that because you guys have said, hey, we know what we want. We know what we need as a family. So God gave you guys a vision that's so much broader and so much bigger than 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 uh, what 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 we've been describing here in terms of it's not just at your local house but you guys got something much bigger in store and i want to share it with you but you guys cannot go anywhere until we have a, a quick break from our sponsors i want everyone to stay with us uh all you got to do is go to their website to connect with them success family success secrets.com that is my friends steven and katie Keen K E E N E and and you're hearing them live on Impacting Life 24/7. Now a word, a quick word from our sponsors. Every time you hear Impacting Life 24/7, it is brought to you in part by our amazing sponsors. Donald Skip Mondragon the Second MD is a platinum sponsor, and he is a 26-year Army veteran, National Veterans Wrestling Champion. 
a speaker and author. He is the author of Wrestling Depression is Not for Wimps. Lessons learned from an amateur wrestler's fight to triumph over depression. Contact him and book him today at WrestlingIsNotForWimps.com. The Underdog Ninja Foundation are platinum sponsors. This was founded in 2020 by Javi and Jessica Madrigal, a husband and wife team that have been battling and overcoming heart disease for 18 years. Their personal story and experiences have led them to follow the calling of empowering, educating, and supporting those fighting heart disease. They have a remarkable platform and a dynamic story. Contact this amazing team at underdogninja.org. Belinda Tyson Linder has spent decades investing in people from all different backgrounds. She is a platinum sponsor. She has led inner city programs for disadvantaged youth, as well as being a mentor to young adults, married couples, individuals facing adversity. Belinda and her husband have built multiple six and seven figure businesses and have trained leaders on having tenacity and character. Ultimately, Belinda cares about people. Bettina Carey is a platinum sponsor. Bettina Carey is a four foot nine and a half Latina. She inspires and empowers women to create big results. They break through, no, they shatter their earning ceiling, kick self-imposed limitations to the curb, and live their legacies now. Whether she's coaching from a live or virtual stage or conferencing with a small cohort of bold women or men on the rise across from a conference table, her championship strategies and straight talk compel women and men to find their whole new gear and succeed beyond their wildest imaginations. Connect with Bettina today at weempoweryourlife.com. You've heard it here, folks. All of these people help us with Impacting Life 24-7. If you would like to join them, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to clkingspeaker.com. That's right. Go to clkingspeaker.com. I absolutely love that commercial. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Impact Life 24-7. It is probably... It's just my personality. That that commercial is just on edge, so I'm always like that. So I am joined. Thank you for our sponsors. If you'd like to become a sponsor, it's very, very simple. Go to clkingspeaker.com. There's three sponsorship levels, and it's very, very simple to be a part of it. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, all of the folks that help us with Impacting Life 24-7. Danny, uh, Katrina, the folks that help us behind the scenes, that help me not make a fool of myself every night because <laughs> it is very easy Steve it's very easy to make an absolute fool of yourself online <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, I've learned to laugh at myself a lot more too because I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I'm joined tonight ladies and gentlemen but with my friends in this virtual studio Steve and Katie Keen they are an amazing couple that ha- I want to share with you uh, about their vision about their burden and their passion for families they've got they've got kind of a dual thing going on here and so they told us in the first half of the of the show about their their life their marriage uh, with raising five children and two of them with special needs they they've told it they told us about how they had to incorporate teamwork as a family it was it was a very organic it is a very organic relationship where everybody's apart and they've been successful at that but steven and, and katie uh they went away on a trip one day and that's where it all went to the next level. Can you tell us about that? Sure thing. So we were at a Family Life Today Weekend to Remember event down in Norfolk. Katie's parents were watching the kids, and so we had the first getaway we would get in years, right? And so we went down, and we were there for that. And as we were there, or probably more after we got back, we realized a getaway like that for special needs families never happens because you might find a way for one of the kids to go off to camp or something like that or maybe somebody watches the kids and moms and dads can get away very unlikely that the entire family is going to get away and go do something where uh, everybody gets involved and so we had this idea of an in-person event where mom and dad are there they're getting lessons from guest speakers specialists things like that that's great The kids 
are getting the same kind of thing. They're getting to meet other kids with special needs brothers and sisters, and they're getting to interact, and, and maybe they're getting some some education and training too on, on, on some of the stuff that they're going through. The special needs kid themselves, to the degree of their ability, would be able to get the same sort of thing, right? Because they're often left out, I mean, in tragic ways. Wow. And so the idea was to bring the whole family down and do that. Now, we had that idea in February of 2020, and a couple of weeks later, uh, the world changed with dramatically. Yes. So, so that, so that went away the in-person venue and we decided, well, why can't we do something similar online? Mm -hmm. And so what we have decided to do is just simply change that. And originally we were going to have simply a nonprofit that uh, was going to allow us to take what we've learned in 20 years and condense it down and teach it to the families of special needs children because the children often get help and get services and things like that from the community. The parents, the brothers and sisters rarely get anything at all. And so I, I hope you got yeah. a good memory. Just pause right there because that, that is so, I don't want to, I want you to keep going, but mm -hmm. you said something and you guys have said it a couple times. It's very similar to, to charities and I situation that we moved 700 miles away from our hometown, Cleveland, Ohio, and we raised our family here and it, it's, you know, thank God for, for our church family, but it still has been just us. And so being able to have a network like that is just that that's really remarkable, Stephen. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by that concept. Yeah. yeah. So that, that is uh, the idea. That is our ultimate goal is get to that, to that nonprofit charity, if you will, that will bless families of special needs children so that they can learn and Katie will go nuts on this, how to, <laughs> maintain their health that's that's her thing she loves it how to preserve their relationships and and how to keep their finances in order because those three things suffer greatly well let's unpack each one of those katie um, because I did, I did stalk you a little bit and found out that you are a bit of a health nut. So I was like, okay, yeah, I, I, I like that component too. I've been, I had bone broth today, so I'm healthy. So I'm good. Yeah. I'm rocking it, man. It was disgusting, but I drank it. <laughs> then we got to talk later. I can tell you how to on, make it, on really how to make it, make it better. Yeah. Cause it was, it was, it was from an organic place and I just poured it in there and heated it up. Anyway, you got three components that he said that, that are important. Your yeah. health. And you say that sometimes families, especially families with special needs, that that your health kind of takes a back seat because you're so in the driver's seat of trying to get your kids to appointment and making sure that you're right on top if, if there's an issue, huh? Yeah, and it's more than that, too. There's also the elements that add into that where you're grieving the loss of what you expected your child's life to be like or what you expected your life to be like. Ooh, and there's wow. just the stress that you have of the everyday management and care of the extra needs. And then the stress from the financial aspect, which is that there's not often enough to cover all the needs your child has. And then, like you mentioned, just being so busy that it's hard to eat right or find time to sleep correctly or exercise. So the health aspect um, is really important, not just for the parents. Um, there are studies showing, for example, they studied a group of mothers who had autistic children their cancer rate was higher than average. So it is very important that we do take care of ourselves, especially if we want to be here long-term to take care of our children. But understanding health aspects can also impact the well-being of our children because when we can support their bodies correctly, they can actually often overcome many of the things that we're told incorrectly cannot be overcome. And we can set them up for success in ways that are unimaginable and very exciting. So wow. that is one of my favorite topics, but it is really a three, a three part. Um, so, yeah. So the second, so the second part, uh, let's deal with relationship because you know, you wanted to have, you got to keep a strong marriage. And I would imagine that, that at, you know, I know you guys look, like there is never, ever an issue, but that's just good for camera. I know that there's some, I, I, I can tell he is, but I, but there are stresses that come that are from the peripheral issues that you're dealing with, with your children. And so why is having, how do you guys go about uh, teaching people how to strengthen their marriage based off of what you all have experienced? Yeah. Well, do you want me to start with that one? Yeah, okay. I'll start. So with that, it's it's unfortunate because a lot of couples who have a special needs diagnosis for their child end up breaking up. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, 
there's there's so many elements to that. We just can't talk about all of it right now. But right. in order to overcome that, there needs to be a large measure of grace, both for each other and for ourselves. And then the willingness to work as a team, like Steve already mentioned, he didn't just come home and say, done for the day. You know, moms are there 24 seven or the stay at home dad, because there's a lot of stay at home dads now. Right. They're there 24 seven and they need a break too. And so if you can pull together, you know, imagine oxen, <laughs> you know, you have to pull as a team. And when you do, there is strength in numbers. And when you give the grace for the mistakes and you look at intent, we talk a lot mm -hmm. about intent and how important that is, because I may have a really rough day and be snappy or really grumpy or just ugh. and if he's willing and able to look at the intent i'm having a bad day my body feels bad and i didn't mean to be so ugh. then he can see into my heart then he knows a better way to deal with me and then i understand oh i was awful and i apologize wow. you know it's a real important thing to give that grace and to look for that intent um that authenticity allows the bond to strengthen instead of break well, that's so powerful, man. That That is absolutely – she she set the bar high for that, Steve. That was very, very powerful. And then financially, you, that's the third component, and you, there there are financial strains, I would imagine, um, because, yeah. you know, e even if you've got a good job, I mean, he's military and all that, but there's still things that just go above and beyond. And for maybe families who struggle financially anyway, this, this can just put an extra burden on them that – it just can become overwhelming. So how do you guys help folks navigate through that? Well, we, we do some very basic things in that respect. Obviously you, you want to be able to budget properly so that you can do that sort of thing. Uh, there are things that you probably don't hear about when it comes to tax time that have to do with medical deductions, right? We for years have, have paid uh really high out of pocket mm. costs, things that medical insurance doesn't cover for that are completely tax deductible. Once you hit a particular threshold based on your, your annual income, most folks don't know that kind of thing. Mm. So, so where we have found those, those little tips and those tricks and things like that, we, we try to enlighten people on those, but in a, in a lot of ways, uh, we really got to think out of the box when it comes to trying to figure out how to, manage that kind of stuff because you have to spend so much more of your income on medical expenses um for a child who who has disabilities right and so you have to be very uh very conscious of that and you have to uh you have to be very deliberate about everything that you do Ooh. and it's taxing yeah uh, i mean taxing like yeah financially too Dom. right yeah uh, it's taxing on on the family's budget and so you know, you, you have to plan for everything. Wow. He said very deliberate. And I love I love that component of him. Steve is a very deliberate kind of guy. Anyway, he just looks real deliberate. Steve and Katie are joining me. Uh, Steve and Katie Keene. They are a family. They and, and their family is just like, man, you know what? I just want to reach through the screen and hug these folks. They are family success consultants, as well as the creators of the Family Success Secrets podcast and coaching program. Steve also offers executive coaching for business owners looking to optimize their team efficiency and employ satis employee satisfaction and retention rates. So I love that part of what you do. I'm a Lean Six Sigma certified green belt, so I love continual process improvement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my, and I got it through the Navy years ago, way, way, way yeah. back, back, way back when I was a lot skinnier. So wh what are you guys doing right now to help you get this non get the nonprofit part that you want going because you got a you got a framework in place that is helping fuel and fund and get things moving in that direction what are you guys doing well it's a whole lot of different things that we're doing we began to realize that um, for us just simply launching a nonprofit wasn't necessarily going to be effective because we didn't have funding right so we have actually put together a course that we we did a pilot run loved it it was amazing and um, amazing results based on 14 years of our own experience and friends starting to ask us, what are you doing? This is incredible. Can we have a copy of that? Right, right. <laughs> and so we put together a program and now we are coaching families through that to help mm -hmm. them really understand these basic foundations of having a very strong family culture, having 
and an understanding of where do you want to go and how do you get there? And then how do you build into your children an innate understanding of um, being independent, being self-confident, mm. and being somebody who is even financially responsible. So did I leave anything out? Well, <laughs> the big takeaway here is that everything that she and I have learned and developed in what we sometimes call the pressure cooker mm. of being a special needs family, much of that is applicable to any family. Yeah. Right. right. So right. if your children are are developing typically, that's fine. The same things that we employ in our house to help us manage will help you to teach your children to be successful in, in all the ways that she said. But the big takeaway here is that we're doing that so that a for-profit business can generate income for the nonprofit because those families are in a much tougher spot than, than most folks in America or their given country around the world. And so there we go. Well, you know, and, and listen, the, the thing that I'm, the thing that I'm, um, you know, amazed by somebody's in the studio looking for a charger. This is not it, brother. The thing that I'm amazed by is that you guys have, have developed something where families, whether you're, whether you have a typical family or not, families can benefit from your years of experience. Now I want to ask you something because we talked about this, I believe in the, in the meet and greet. It's not always easy. Is it Katie? What are some, what are some of, and, and you don't have to tell it all, but what are some of the, the struggles of, of, of your family dynamic that you have to deal with that, that, that you've learned to manage, but they still are real? Yeah. Oh, well, we're open books. We actually are very willing to share because life has plenty of struggles. And if we pretend it doesn't, then we can't help each other. Right. <laughs> we can't make right. Progress. Right. Yeah. So for us, you know, there's just kids are kids. We all get tired. I get tired, he gets tired. And when we get tired, sometimes it's harder to manage even just our own interactions with each other. Right. And so we've done certain things that help us through that so that I won't succumb to yelling at the children, for example. We actually have set up a framework for ourselves that we use in the house and we actually teach it to other people so that you can sidestep those triggers. Everyone has pre-written expectations. Mm -hmm. We have preset outcomes for certain behavior choices and we've posted them all and make sure that they're discussed and so what we try to do is figure out our weak spots and then like shore up around them <laughs> to help us to be able to rely on what we preset up so that when the exhaustion takes over then the emotion can take over right that we don't just unravel yeah yeah yeah, I mean, now uh, you you were you were Steve, you were a Navy guy, so you you probably kept your bearing pretty good because you've done that throughout the whole show. Anyway, he's very he's very re resolute. But yeah. but but what do you, how do you navigate when when times get tough for you, brother? Because I know sometimes it it can be maybe even seemingly overwhelming from time to time. Yeah, uh, well, it is, you know, because in, in a lot of ways, it feels like you never get a break. And that's the way that it was for our family long before COVID-19 hit the earth. You know, we were fairly well uh, sequestered out of necessity because of Medical uh, immunity problems, right? right? And so for us, we've, we've always been kind of different in that sense. So it's very difficult. Um, and for me, I have to go out of my way to try and find good opportunities for for Katie to have time off right, and to give the kids a break or to do something, you know, so that each of those five kids gets plenty of time with mom, gets right. plenty of time one with one. dad and, and that kind of thing. So, so, you know, as you were saying, right, you do have to be a lot more intentional with that type of thing. And so that's what I have to do. And when things get really hard, then you really have to fall back and say, okay, what are the biggest, most important things and how can I take care of those? And then I'm going to do the best that I can. And you have to be willing to just accept good enough in some situations. It's right. not what you want, but you have no choice. I like that. I like that. Good enough. And listen, again, I'm joined by Stephen and Katie Keene. And, and I want you guys to go to their website. They are some really, really amazing people. Greg, if you could put that website back in there for me, just so I don't miss it. Because I think it give us your website real quick, Katie. 
familysuccesssecrets.com. Familysuccesssecrets.com. And, and I want you guys to go to their website because here's, here's what, here's what I really believe, especially in this, in our military community is that people who move to a new community and they don't have a lot of support, you know, they, they, they get frustrated. Like you say, and things, things, the walls begin to close in. Mom feels like she doesn't get a break or dad or both of them. And then their marriage struggles and their finances are all the pieces. And Katie and, and Steven have, have 20 years of, of raising children, man. And they did it. <laughs> they did it the right way, but it wasn't easy. They didn't have a huge, they didn't have cousins and nephews and uncles and all that around to, to, to help. Uh, you know, offload some of the burden. I want to bring this point to you and I want you guys to give me your thoughts, Steve and Katie. I, I have compartmentalized, especially now that I'm older and my four, my last four are 21, 20, 18 and 17 next month. So I'm just like, I see the runway. The landing gear is down. You know what I mean? We're telling them to put the drink tables, back, trays back up. I'm like, maybe we'll get this house back one day. I don't know. But anyway, your time, Steve, your time together, and then your time as a family. Do you guys approach it that way? Like, in other words, you said that sometimes Katie would need a break. Like, sometimes it's, a break is not going out with your spouse. Sometimes a break is for her to be able to just go away. Do you guys see it that way? Because that's kind of the way we approach it. How do you guys do it? Well, it's, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, and that doesn't change from family to family. It's just that perhaps the intensity of it and the necessity of it is a little stronger for a special needs family. Right. Katie and I have what we call couch time, where... <laughs> 15 minutes a day at some point she and I are going to sit down on the couch and it doesn't matter if all five kids are in the room they know don't bother us <laughs> you know? and we used to do that at the end of the day when I was working from a you know uh, from a different location mm -hmm. right. I drive home you know but now that I'm working from the house because of what's going on we don't have to do it as much we have very specific time with kids we and, and so we map it out just like you said and it's equally important how was it? How was it? How is it, Katie, homeschooling five kids? How 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 do you manage that? I love it. Oh, really? Okay. And we were never going to be those weird homeschool people. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, remember like, that. Like making dad, your own. Go ahead. Dad was a teacher. Uh -huh. My dad was a teacher and a principal oh. for 30 years. And my mom was a teacher and both of our sisters were one of his sisters. His sister still is. So it's yeah. in your it's in your genes. Yes, we love teachers. We absolutely love teachers. Right. But with our lifestyle and the needs of our children and some of the situations, not of the teachers themselves, but of just the setup of the schools and the system, we realized after saying, okay, we'll just try it for a year. Oh, okay, we'll try it for one more year. And we're like, we love this. You know, this is amazing. And our children have been able to truly thrive because of it. And our oldest actually could now be done with high school a year early if he chose to be, but we are not choosing. We love it. We're just going to continue on and do some extra stuff. And all the kids have, have been able to thrive due to the extra support where they needed it and to excel where they could. Let me just tell you, I homeschooled ours. For, well, my wife did. I didn't. I was away. But my we homeschooled ours for several years, and it was, was one of the greatest times ever. Wish we could have just did it all the way through for all six of them. Yeah, right. um, so if someone wants to connect with you and they go to your website, and let's say they're a family, they're a typical family with no special needs children, they can still come to you and, and get some family dynamic help? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. And and so do you guys offer like some sort of intro level uh, where they can just come and get like a free consultation or something like that to sit down and talk to you one on one in particular, if 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 on the other side of the equation, we have families that have children with special needs. Are you guys receiving couples like that, too, right now? Absolutely, Yes. Now, let me ask you this. What about single parents with special needs children? Yeah, because your situation is harder and we can teach you the best we can how to go at it single handedly. Right. Right. There's a dynamic that's involved if it's mom and dad. Um, it's it's tougher if it's just mom or dad. But everything that we teach doesn't have to be done by two people. Right. Right. right? 
it just gets it gets parent and kids aligned instead of parents and kids aligned. And you know, so we'd be happy to try. It. I you know, I th- and that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, when you're when you're talking about raising a child, even if it, let's say it's a typical child, you, you and you're a single parent, it does seem like you're never off the clock, right? And and we we talked about that. You know, I remember when when we had all six of ours that were still under the roof and and quacking around like little ducklings. It just seems like that's all we did all day long was parent and be on the clock. And and by the time it was eleven o'clock midnight, you know, we're like dead asleep and we didn't do anything for ourselves. And so having having two people that have kind of mined out all the 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 templates and got everything nice together for us is is that I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen, I wish everyone in our network would share uh this couple's great story and what they are doing. They've got five beautiful children. Um and tell us their ages again. I want to go back down the ages. Tell us who and their ages. Okay. So uh, our youngest, Joseph, is almost seven. That close. Levi is eight. Elijah's 12. Rachel, 15. Isaiah, 17. Hey, those names sound very familiar. I've heard, I've heard those names somewhere in there a good go. book, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm joined again by with Steve and Katie King, and they have a, a unique family, a dynamic family, a blessed family. I know they wouldn't change anything about it, but what they've done is they've taken the lessons they have learned raising two special needs children amongst five total. And they said, listen, we want to help. We want to help the rest of the world. We want because we know there are people out there that are just lost. I can imagine, you know, I, I'm listening to you now. It's just like, well, how did y'all do it without, you know, additional support? It was the grace of God. And I believe faith is really a strong component in you guys' life too, right? Yes, yes. very yeah, that, that's that's powerful. And so again, family success dot com. Thank you, Greg. For some reason I went out and came back in, brother, and the website wasn't there. Cause you know I can't remember all this stuff. And so family success secrets dot com. I'd also like for you guys to to check them out, their podcast. Uh, give us some insights real quick on the podcast. How's that coming and what's that about? It's been so much fun. <laughs> we have enjoyed doing our podcast. That was an un- unexpected piece of our journey. And um we actually do a weekly rotation. We host a guest one one week, and then we do a solo teaching episode another week. And um, we just try to bring families information that they can use immediately that will help them implement, if it resonates with them, something in their life that will bring them success. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's, if it's a, an accounting tip or a home organization tip or, you know, whatever the case. Right. right. It's something that families can can use themselves without having to leave out the home. You know what I'm what I'm realizing, guys, is that we all need to just continue. I, I For the last year and a half, two years, I have been heaping upon myself the knowledge of others and the experiences of others. I'm probably one of the smartest people in the world now, as many folks have I had on this show. But it really is edifying to me to be able to connect with people that, I mean, I pick up these little nuggets, man. I'm like, man, boy, I wish I had met y'all 10 years ago. I could probably run, be running my house better now. But, but again, when you feel like there's no one, there's nowhere to go. Impacting life 24 seven is a repository of amazing people just like this. And I've told uh, Stephen Keen and Katie Keen that I want them to come back because we know, I know how people listen. I look at all of our analytics. I'm, I study the graphs and I understand that folks will listen casually the first time or, or passively the first time. And then when I have a guest back, they're like, oh, this is important. Uh, and, and so we're going, we're going to have Stevie, St- St- Stevie, we're going to have Steven and Katie. I mixed your name up, brother. <laughs> Greg, Greg, you know I be butchering people's names, Greg. I'm always yeah, butchering people's names. <laughs> Stavy. <laughs> That's a good one. We're going to have them back um, maybe in the fall or beginning of the year to talk about this again because I, I really do feel like it's important. I want to find out, you know, if we can have you back sooner. If we if we start getting some traction on the nonprofit, we'll love to really, really fuel that. And man, I want to be a speaker at the at the event that you guys do. Just bring me in to light the house on fire. That's what they pay, that's what they pay me for, guys. But but more importantly, the vision of hey, families with special needs, there is a place 
where you can go. You don't have to you don't have to put your kids up somewhere. You don't have to find a babysitter. These folks are in, envisioning a place for the entire family. And so I would love for you guys to connect with them. Family success, family success secrets dot com. And this, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I do the show live because I just butcher it, all my words. So Stephen and Katie, you guys have really, really inspired us tonight on this show. And w- one of the things that I want you guys to know is, is that you have a friend now. You have a support group now at Impacting Life 24-7. I, I, we're done with this whole, listen, let me just put my pastor hat on here for a second. I know everybody's listening to being socially distant. I know that that's a por- part of what's going on in the world. I know we have to keep away from each other and all that, but that doesn't mean we have to be spiritually distant. That doesn't mean we have to be distant from our brothers and sisters. And if I can connect with somebody like this, and if I can connect you with someone like this, that can we can strengthen one another, just imagine how great our world will be. Do you got, do you agree with that, Steve? I mean, did that, was that a good point, brother? Yes, it was because, <laughs> cause that is massively important for families. Uh, you know, Cause everybody's tired of being socially distanced. Right. Those special needs families have been doing it for years longer than everybody else. Right. Don't forget about them. So, right. And I'm not. And, and like I said, if you guys, if there's something that you have that you want to come on the show with, and we can talk to our audience, feel free to come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the music is there, so that means we're coming down to the end of Impacting Life 24-7, but we never will be at the end without a dynamic word from our guests. So, ladies first, Miss Katie, give a word of encouragement. Take about 30 seconds or 45 seconds to give a word of encouragement to our families out there. I will. Okay, so families who are going through stress and um, experiencing crisis, I just want you to remember that gold is refined in fire over and over. Pearls are made from irritation from a long time. Butterflies fly because they have to struggle to get out of the cocoon, and diamonds are made under pressure. Don't forget, it's going to be okay. Ooh, boy, I just got me three, four speaking nuggets right there. I'm going to you. I'm just telling you now, I will give you credit, Katie, but that was powerful. Thank you so much, Steve. Stephen Keen, my man, Stephen Keen. Tell us, give us a word of encouragement, brother. All right. So this is uh, especially for those special needs families, right? When you get that diagnosis that says this is what your kid has, many times people think, well, that's it. Please remember the diagnosis is not your child's prognosis. What they say in that office, that only tells you what they have discovered. It means nothing for that child's future. That comes down to you, mom and dad. And folks, you can apply that in any situation, right? Whether you have special needs kids or not, if you have difficulties, that can be temporary. It does not have to be that way enduring. All right, so take that. You heard that from Stephen Keene. As long as there's life, ladies and gentlemen, as long as there's breath, there is hope. Mike Black says, wonderful show, awesome guest, outstanding and powerful. And you guys were truly outstanding and powerful. We love both of you. I really do feel a connection to y'all. I might be y'all brother from another mother. But ladies and gentlemen, we had in our virtual studios, Stephen and Katie Keene. I want you guys to go to their website right now. Thank you, Greg. FamilySuccessSecrets.com. Look them up on social media. Connect with them. We're going to have them back. We're going to talk more about how their their nonprofit is going. We want to help fund that, fuel it, push people toward it and get families there that that can be strengthened by this family with 20 years of experience thank you so much uh steven and katie for being with us you guys have really made the night special for us thank you so much much for having us okay we look forward to having you back again okay all right thanks sir all right thank you ladies and gentlemen that was the first installment of impacting life 24 7 thank you so much greg for just being johnny on the spot thank you javi thank you jessica love you guys appreciate you yeah they're doing some great work there and uh when we talk about special needs let me tell you something it's it's a challenge enough raising typical children and trying to do it while you're young and then you got the pressures of the military and all of that they had two special needs children and and some of the situations were very severe and and they're they're just saying look we're not we're not going to be selfish with this we're going to take what we've learned 
and we want to share it with others. That's why I have people on the show. This show is a repository. Like you can take the ladder that slides across the books. You can you can do that with Impacting Life 24-7, man. If you it, listen to that, man, a, a, a show geared for families with special needs children. And every night it's different. Every night we have people on here that are making an impact. So I want you to, to share this word with somebody, share this message, share this show with someone who may be in this situation and category. I think you'll be better for it. Tomorrow night, I will be with, and Greg and our team, we will be with Miss Jocelyn Cassidy. She is the newly um, assigned principal, I said newly elected. She is the newly assigned principal of White Oak High School here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And uniquely so, she graduated from the school and now she's making a full circle back. This is her first time back and now she's the principal. So we're going to have her on. We're going to hear about her vision, talk about education, how education has Man, those kids <laughs> last year had to be on a computer, off a computer, on a mask, off a mask, and the administrators had to had to negotiate all of that. And so we're going to have her on tomorrow night. Looking forward to that. Tune in tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. We'll all be here. The, the, the bunch that you have grown to love at Impact Your Life 24-7 will be here. And so we thank you for supporting us. If you'd like to become a sponsor, it's very, very simple. Go to clkingspeaker.com. That's it. And you get to hear that commercial that you heard tonight, the two commercial breaks that's heard in 37 states, 22 countries, and 23 platforms every time we do it. Now, you pay a whole lot more money than what we're asking for in sponsorships to actually get that from a commercial entity. But we said we're just interested in partners, man. We're just interested in people coming with us and getting with us. And we continue to step up our game every single week. We want to give high quality programming for people like Steven and Katie to want to come on and come back. All right. So that's it for me, your friend CL King. We'll talk to you again tomorrow night, 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, exclusively on Impacting Life 24 7. Have a good night.